want this uh, let me delete this file on home okay I'm going to rename file on desktop into file on home previously we did this with the help of copy command now we are going to do it with the help of move command file on desktop to file on home.txt now this will not be copied rather the name alone would get changed over here hit on enter so that the name alone got changed <coughs> perfect hmm, now uh, coming to removing files and directory for removing uh, it is again going to be the first and the third word rm okay rm minus rvf uh, and rm minus r <coughs> so let me show that command to you folks um, let me try to remove file.txt okay that is inside my home directory so the command for that is rm <coughs> file.txt hit on enter so that it disappeared now let me try to remove a folder and it will not allow me to delete a folder because it's a directory so if I want a directory to be removed I need to for given the option of hyphen r recursively remove it and if I don't give the letter f it's going to question each and everything inside the folder so let me go inside the folder and see what is what is there inside it it will ask me do I want to delete file.txt so if, there, if I have n number of files here it will ask for each and every time do I want to delete that do I want to delete that let me let me show that <coughs> for you oops it didn't ask but usually it does ask <coughs> if I need to remove those files okay okay <clears throat> so we saw the rm command right now we moved a folder as well as a file now let us uh, go ahead and type uh, okay I don't want to type shutdown command which I'll do towards the end of this course okay uh, for shutting it down I just need to type init forward by 0 then now let us try to read contents of a file so for reading a contents of a file I need to give the path in which the file is residing then the file name <coughs> okay so I have given uh, the example as catting hc passwd that is where all our usernames are stored okay so if I were to expand this thing out okay Oops. What's that? and we hit on clear okay I'm going to cat forward slash hc okay similar to forward slash home forward slash hc is another directory pass wd hit on enter so you saw these are all the contents of that particular file called as passwd okay and you can see my particular username being listed here okay then let us try to use the cat command okay to write something inside a file called file1.txt okay let us do that let me hit on clear okay ll command to list all the files on my uh, present working directory so i'm going to type cat this command is going to tell that whatever i type on this particular input command terminal it's going to go into file dot home uh, sorry file dot file f i l e one dot txt okay you don't enter <coughs> this is the first hit on control D to save and close the file ok now if I want to read let me hit on LL ok uh, you, you remember this file on home we did not create we did not type in anything inside that so the size is 0 but 
file dot one file one dot txt we type some sentence inside it so the size is 56 bytes so i'm going to cat the particular file one dot txt okay so i could read the contents of that particular file over here okay now to append something to it so i need to use a double uh, double uh, greater than symbol so i can do this to file one dot txt uh, this is the second SEC, second line okay hit on enter control d okay and try to cat that same file file one dot txt you saw that even second line is created if i were to just use this particular uh, one one symbol okay it will overwrite the first line i need to use two symbols so that it appends to it now uh, the important thing is changing a directory or a folder okay so this is accomplished with the command called cd and followed by the path of the folder name so previously we were uh, referring to the desktop by uh, we were referring to some files on the desktop with the help of desktop forward slash right so what we could do is rather <coughs> let me hit on clear okay my present working directory is forward slash home forward slash bala let me hit on ln i have a folder called desktop which contains all these things which are shown on my desktop okay um so <coughs> if i were to go inside the desktop it will show me only this particular folder it will not show the trash or bala's home or computer okay so what I do is cd into my desktop. So remember my prompt here. This is my home directory up to now. Once I hit on enter that will change to desktop. Saw that? Now this prompt has changed to desktop. So if I were to hit a pwd right now. Hit on enter. Now you could see that I am inside a folder called desktop which is inside Bala. Previously it was just over here. Okay. Now I could refer something directly. Uh, let me create a file here okay let me create a folder that's much easier called one hit on enter now i can tell <coughs> if i were to list it with ll command i can see a particular file called one and another one called zip file okay perfect now if i were to if i want to go back to the previous file okay previous directory i need to type cd forward uh, space dot dot okay and if i were in any in say if i were if i want to come back to my home directory i need to type cd followed by this tilde symbol this is above the tab okay you need to hit hit on shift while typing that and hit on enter okay next <coughs> to display the calendar okay there is a particular command called let me hit on clear first c a l <coughs> so this shows the current calendar okay what i can do is i can type c a l followed by the number three oh this is going to display okay i need to <coughs> follow it with 2011 for this year's calendar so that is 2011 just slips past okay 2011 calendar then now uh, mm, my throat is just drying up i am not sure why um okay so next let us see the date okay let me hit on clear <coughs> and type in date hit on enter um, so it's showing the current date which is saturday uh, jan 1st and uh, the time actually the time right now is 1 25 pm okay so probably the time zone is no it's ist then i need to probably change the time let us change the time uh, with this particular command system config date Okay, I'm going to type in the same command inside my terminal. 
system hyphen config hyphen date hit on enter so it's telling that i'm trying to change the date so i need to have administrative privileges okay i've logged in as bala but that is not good enough i need to have root privileges so i need to type in my root password hit on okay and <clears throat> i can change my current time to 13 27 00 hit on okay but the time uh, it will take some time to reflect okay the time command i have to log out and log back in for it to reflect so but the date uh, command will immediately reflect it oh i believe i gave it as 13 oops that's 1 o'clock right now okay now it's perfect so that's for configuring the date and uh, for this time so that it changed right now 127 pm perfect now um for help command so if i do not know something about this calendar command if i want to just display 3 months of the calendar what i could do is first let me clear out m a n which is for manual pages for calendar okay and i could type in hyphen 3 to display just 3 months output previous current and the next month hit on q to quit from this page okay type c a l minus 3 okay it's showing 3 months so for last month which is december jan and feb okay perfect <coughs> there are even other commands which helps us uh, which helps us to find out more information about them which is one is info command the other is what is command okay we can we can type in even those things info cl so you saw that it's displaying almost similar let me hit on q you can type what is cl so you saw that it's much a uh, smaller version of the info on man page it just tells the display is a calendar and stuff then i can even use hyphen hyphen help uh, it does not work for all commands so it told invalid usage and uh, uh, invalid option which is hyphen hyphen it's asking me to just use one hyphen no hyphen h is not to be used with this particular command okay <coughs> now we come to this all important part of absolute path and relative path okay so absolute path always starts with a forward slash okay it it is referred from forward slash uh, from the uh, root of the file system okay whereas relative path it will not start with that um it it is only a continuous path from the current working directory which is pwd or it can also start with a dot or dot dot if the present working directory is root okay okay so this is just the example let me mm okay so let me hit on clear so if i were to refer pwd okay if i were to refer if i if i were to go into desktop like this okay cd followed by desktop because say ll command shows that desktop is inside my current working directory okay if i were to hit cd desktop this is called as relative path okay because the path over here does not start with forward slash whereas if i were to type cd forward slash home bala then desktop this is called as absolute path because i am anchoring it to the root partition okay from the root desktop is two directories down the lane okay you understood the point right so we'll do an exercise on that 
so this is that particular exercise